Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of cloud computing. Today's topic is infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. These are cloud computing service models. In this video, I'll be talking about their properties, advantages and disadvantages. Let us begin. You are aware with the cloud computing. This is the on-demand delivery of IT resources. Payment is being done on the basis of uh, things on the basis of the resources which is being utilized by the client. There is no need to buy anything, no need to maintain anything. Just all the things can be available. There are three kinds of cloud computing service models I'll be talking in this particular video, right? And the three service models are infrastructure as a service, IaaS, platform as a service, PaaS, and software as a service, SaaS. From this particular diagram, you can have a brief idea how it works actually. And what do you mean by each and individual service model? As you are aware that client is directly interact with the cloud with the help of web browsers, mobile applications like See, so client is directly interacting with cloud computing and infrastructure as a service means here infrastructure is available. Infrastructure like servers, storage, network, security system, management, right? So this is available. So infrastructure can be used as a service and this infrastructure can be used by the developers, can be used by the network architects. So this is for migration. Platform as a service means platform is available and that particular platform can be utilized as a service like web applications, deploying development tools, database. So platform is this basically passes used by the developers. It means you can say build. Third one is the SaaS software as a service means software is available and that particular software can be used by multiple uh, clients. So this is the application only. It is used by end users. It means use it for like communication, CRM, ERP, emails, game. A game is available and many clients, many users can access for that particular game. There is no need to download anything. Nothing can be done. Just it can be utilized. It can be accessed by the help of the web browsers only. So these are all the three cloud computing service model. Let us talk each one in detail. First, I'll be talking about the infrastructure as a service. As you know that infrastructure is what? Uh, if we talk about the infrastructure in terms of the computers, means this is nothing but the operating system, CPU, storage, RAM, network. So cloud provider does what? It provides the infrastructure and infrastructure which is being utilized by client client has to pay for that and payment is being done on the basis of pay as you go access right this is also known as a hardware as a service means i ask it provides all the things means all the infrastructure which is being required for developing any applications for developing any service or deploying development tools database means organizations use their own platform and applications within a service provider infrastructure. So this is what the IaaS is, infrastructure as a service, right? Means you just need me, uh, the things uh, which, which is to be managed by the uh, client, means you are going to develop some applications. Uh, for that, both data and database is to be managed and maintained by client operating system and its update that is going to be maintained by clients itself right basic infrastructure is being provided by the cloud vendor if we talk about the properties there is no need to buy hardware just remember this point and depending upon the usage of the hardware depending upon this hardware like which we are going to scale up scale down accordingly client has to so here infrastructure can be scalable. 
infrastructure means if i have a requirement of some more hardware some more infrastructure some more storage some more uh, like uh, operating systems uh, kind of things so i need to pay more if required i can scale down my requirement and accordingly i have to pay it means when the infrastructure is scalable obviously you have to pay as you are going to access so if you are uh, accessing large you have to pay much if you are accessing uh, smaller some infrastructure you have to pay less it means scalable property it also helps in saving cost no single point of failure because here data is available on the cloud basic infrastructure is being available so there is no possibility no single point of failure here accesses gui this graphical user interface and api based access and it automate administrative tasks there are various companies nowadays who are providing infrastructure as a services you must be aware that amazon web service azure uh, gcp so this is what these companies are providing and there are various advantages advantages of this it is cost effective obviously you have to pay accordingly as you are going to access the infrastructure this can be scalable and it is very very reliable this is secure because you are handling your data and database yourself right so this is secure on demand access can be done this is flexible also so these are the various advantages but if we talk about the disadvantages since operating system updates is to be managed by the clients means maintenance and upgrades these are the things which is to be managed by the clients interoperability issues obviously not compatible means interoperability issues and it is dependent on the internet and virtualization services see in fact all the cloud computing service models cloud itself means uh, that is dependent on the internet so internet is very very required in this particular case in in all the cases i must say second is the platform as a service platform as a service means infrastructure plus platform both the things here data only is to be managed data and application is to be managed by the client and rest of all the things is managed by the cloud vendor it means platform as a service pass it provides a platform or environment so that developers can build their applications they can build their services and these services and applications are hosted where obviously in the cloud and those can be accessed by the multiple users so pass provider what it does it host hardware and software of its own infrastructure right so you must remember infrastructure plus platform only data and application is to be managed by the clients so the properties same platform services is available for various users because that is available in the cloud and multiple users can access it and pass it enables it strengthen organizations so that organizations can focus on their development organizations or any individual they need not to worry about the underlying infrastructure that is already available so they have to focus on their development parts only it provides manages operating system security run time virtualization server storage networks everything so facilities it facilitates collaborative work even if uh, there are a person in a team working for same project they are working from some remote locations they are not operating from the same locations even they can collaborate and they can work in coherence so it facilitates collaboration it supports multiple languages and framework that is the beauty of the pass it also provides the ability to auto scale auto scale is the uh, important feature it provides automatic scaling can be done so some of the companies which who are providing platform as a services like aws elastic azure app services google app engine salesforce you must remember them so what are the advantages of the platform as a service 
obviously it is cost effective because infrastructure and platform is available and you have to utilize it it is scalable and reliable it is available but it is secure also on demand access it is flexible and less maintenance because you have to be concerned about your application and data only the rest of the things is managed by cloud provider so less maintenance there are some of the disadvantages some limitations you can say data privacy since data is available on the cloud cloud uh, provider is handling that particular data so there may be some issues vendor lock in vendor lock in is a very important feature like uh, which is going to contribute a lot in the case of the cloud computing services so vendor lock in means it is not very easy to migrate from one vendor to the another because there might be some variation in the infrastructure right so that is not very easy third is the software as a service software as a service means it provides infrastructure plus platform plus software so thing is available and you just need the application is available software is available and you have to utilize that software as a service someone has created a game that game is available on the cloud and many of us can utilize many of us can access it so saas here a service provider that delivers software and applications obviously through the internet so users means this is available in, on the basis of the subscription model users subscribe to the software and users can access to those softwares via their uh, their web or on vendors apis this software as a service saas it is also known as web based software on demand software or hosted software if we talk about the properties you must remember the com- some of the companies who are providing saas Shopify, Salesforce, Microsoft Office 365, Big Commerce, Dropbox. I have discussed in detail in the previous video. As some of you might be using Microsoft Office 365, you need not to do anything. You are you have just log in and you are doing your work. Each and every updates and everything is managed by the cloud provider, right? So software as a service means this is accessible over the internet. This is applicable for all cloud computing service model for all cloud services. Here vendor provides softwares and applications, and that can be used on a via subscription model. Services can be purchased on pay per use basis. This SaaS means here cloud service provider. means that person that thing can be managed from a central location user need not to manage anything user need not to install download or upgrade or uh, update any softwares right so all the things is managed centrally data is available in the cloud resources which are available over here resources can be scaled up scaled down depending upon the requirement of the services in the previous video i have already discussed a case of the shopify example as an example see what happens shopify is what that is a one stop e-commerce store solution for all the retailers who would like to sell their products online means here each and every one who are willing to sell our products we can maintain our inventory even if we don't have any knowledge no coding no background experience still we will be able to set up our e-commerce platform and that could be accessed via apps or integration or even some integration of the uh, payment gateways can also be done so i can also use you can also use that is why the software as a service advantages no installation no hardware software you need not to install you need not to buy anything that is why it is very cost effective you have to pay only for what you are going to use so pay per use model multi device support saas it supports multi devices accessibility it can be accessed from remote locations also it it is accessible everywhere there are automatic updates we need not to bother about anything it is highly scalable so these are the various advantages some of the limitations or disadvantages dependency on internet 
as for each and every case i am saying internet is important for all the services security that is the limitation because we are updating we are just utilizing it data is available on the cloud so there must be some uh, like insecure you can say data is not highly secure switching between saas vendors is difficult obviously if we have developed uh, like uh, we are using one application we have subscribed uh, done the subscription for shopify and next time we would like to migrate it to the big commerce it would be not very easy it would be difficult right that is why switching between saas vendors is difficult and there is some latency issues latency obviously we are using cloud for each and every services so sometimes system may be slow down it may take time so latency issues may also be observed in the case of the software as a services so you must remember i as is infrastructure pass is infrastructure plus platform saas is infrastructure plus platform plus software thank you so much for watching this video